Hey guys, in this video we are going to install battery backup with two EG4 Power Pro batteries and Lux Power 12K inverter, same as EG4 18K inverter. If you're interested, let's jump into the video. So on one side where is electrical panel, we have main panel, panel that we're gonna back up with the Lux Power, and then we're running two runs for 63 Ramex, which is good for 60 amps. And then right here is the access to crawl space and the, all equipment are going to be installed in this wall. On the back side of the battery we have mounting plate that we need to detach and lay out uh, those plates on the walls. The battery weight is over 300 pounds so I have to make sure that I'm drilling and uh, connecting lug bolts into the studs, not to the stucco. Batteries have pretty convenient handles to load and unload it. Now we can remove mounting plate from second battery and install this on a wall. In a package with a battery we're getting these straps or metal plates. And those metal plates is for uh, Lux Power 12K or EG4. 18k installation is going to show us distance where to install inverter mounts. I did look at installation manual later and realized that this trap is supposed to be installed before battery mount, so this trap is going to stay in place. Now after finishing all mounting brackets we can hang batteries. Mounting plate on the top hook has some bevel but not at the bottom. So to make it sit properly we need to push bottom first and then battery is gonna slide and lock in place. After installing batteries we can start installing conduit boxes. This is conduit box from EG4 and at the top we have all knockouts to make it work with the inverter. We have four pre-installed bolts to secure conduit box to the battery. Between two boxes I'm going to run two inch EMT conduit. So I'm going to have enough space to run battery, communication and AC wires. Also don't forget to install plastic bushing on two sides of conduit. To cover unused knockouts, we have these plastic caps for left conduit box. And now we can install inverter. What is interesting, I told that Lux Power 12K and EG4 18K are exactly the same inverters, but as you can see here, only two knockouts matches and the other two are not. But we can easily fix this with a knockout tool. On the left side of inverter we have Wi-Fi dongle that needs to be secured with four small screws. In left and right conduit box I'm going to install one inch LB and the EMT conduit is gonna go into crawl space, left side for input and right side I'm gonna use as output. 
and I'm installing conduit body in a horizontal way just because on the left and right side of the battery we have removable covers that we need access to. After finishing all conduits we can run wires from a crawl space into inverter. For the battery wires I'm going to use one that came with the batteries, so lens is good enough for that one of course, and I can reach from a positive from this battery to positive to, to this side. Negative will go from this battery, however standard negative from this side will not reach inverter, so I'm just going to crimp another wire for, for this battery. Exactly. I'm, I'm too big to like, you know, if you're someone little, it's way easier for you to do that. Yeah. And then, no, crawl space and attic are the same kind of protective work. Yeah. Crawl space uh, was always very dirty, there were all kinds of things. А Атик очень жаркий, там просто нереально вся льется, как не знаю, вообще выливается вся просто под. Now we can torque battery cables. And the finish AC side. Now I'm going to crimp negative cable for left battery. On the left side of the batteries we have small cover with the deep switches underneath and there we're gonna set primary and secondary battery. And here's the communication wire going into the battery right there. So now wiring for inverter finished. And now I can start wiring electrical panels. On the left side we have an electrical panel that was backed up by generator with interlock and on the right side is a main electrical panel. Also just a quick tip, whenever you're working on electrical panels and if you see something strange or something is incorrect, fix that. For example, right there someone dropped self-tapping screw and leave it there. In general it's not gonna bring any harm, but it's better to remove this. For the wiring, we're gonna have a wire coming from main panel to AC disconnect, which I'm installing right now, and then uh, it's gonna go to inverter. And then from inverter, it's connected to sub panel, and uh, it's going to be backed up by batteries. And before turning the system, I did check voltage between L1, L2, neutral, and uh, ground to make sure all connections are correct and now system is working and we can close covers I did use flex conduit here just because it's gonna be too hard to bend around all of those other conduits also I was curious how waterproof all of these caps and right here it's a lot of water it was rain all night and, uh, it's all dry here Last step before closing covers is to flip breaker and turn on BMS on both batteries. And at this point the setup is finished, now we can connect inverter to the internet and uh, set up time of use and all charge and discharge settings. Alright guys, that's all about this video, I hope you'll find something useful here. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them. And as always, thank you for watching and see you later.